Hey guys! If you're considering a trip to Vienna, which is often named the most livable city on our planet, you're in for a treat. In this video, we'll give you some ideas for free activities and attractions to enjoy while you're in the city. From visiting museums and galleries to exploring the city's beautiful parks and neighborhoods, Vienna has a lot to offer that won't cost you a cent. For those who are new here, we're Kathy and Puria, and we've been living in Vienna for almost our entire lives. Make sure to subscribe to our channel for updates on more great things to do in Vienna, especially if you're on a budget or just looking for inexpensive ways to explore the city, then we definitely recommend you to watch this video till the end. Let's get started. Firstly, let's talk museums. Vienna has a rich cultural history and is home to many world-class museums and galleries. Some of them are either completely free or have special offers on specific days. To get the latest information, we would recommend you to check out the official website of the city to which you will find the link in the description below. But here are some of our favorites that offer free entrance on the first Sunday of every month. Number 1. The Beethoven Museum in the 9th district of Vienna. This museum gives you a great opportunity to learn more about the famous composer and see some of his personal belongings, manuscripts and musical instruments. Number 2. The Museum of Military History. The museum houses an extensive collection of military artifacts including weapons, uniforms and vehicles from various historical periods ranging from ancient times to the present day. It is a popular attraction for history and military buffs, offering a unique insight into the military history of Austria. Hermes Villa This museum is a historic villa located in the outskirts of Vienna in the Leinzer Tiergarten, which used to be the hunting grounds during the Habsburg monarchy. Built in the late 19th century, situated in an idyllic setting in the middle of a huge green area, this villa was named Palace of Dreams by the Empress Elizabeth. Emperor Francis Joseph gave it to her as a gift in the hope of persuading his wife, who loved to travel, to spend more time in Vienna. With its beautiful architecture and picturesque surroundings, Hermes Villa is a must-visit destination for history and architecture enthusiasts. But there is much more, and we would advise you again to check out the website of the Ministry before planning your itinerary. Let's move on to our next free thing to do. If you love walking, you want to check out our point number two, which is taking a stroll around the city. If you're interested in exploring the city on foot, Vienna has a lot to offer. From the historic center with its grand buildings and narrow streets to the trendy neighborhoods of Neubau and the hip 7th district, there are plenty of interesting areas to discover. Walking around the city is a great way to get a feel for Vienna's unique atmosphere and culture and to discover hidden gems that you might otherwise miss. However, if you're more into nature and greenery, you want to check out our number 3, which is parks. Vienna is a city that values green spaces and has many beautiful parks for residents and visitors to enjoy. The most famous parks in the city center of Vienna are the Stadtpark and Volksgarten. But all of them are beautiful and easily accessible, allow you to quickly escape the bustling noise of the city center. However, some of the most unique parks in Vienna are located in the outer districts. For example, the Leinzer Tiergarten, which I already mentioned earlier, is a nature reserve that covers over 10 square kilometers and is home to a variety of wildlife, including deers. Another interesting park is the Prata, which is home to the famous Wiener Riesenrad, the Ferris wheel of Vienna, and a large amusement park. However, the park also has extensive green spaces and the famous Hauptallee a 4-kilometer-long avenue lined with chestnut trees. Whether you're looking for a peaceful escape from the hustle and bustle of the city or just a fun-filled day with family and friends, Vienna's parks have something for everyone. And the best part is, almost all of them are completely free to enter and enjoy. For those who enjoy shopping and browsing, Vienna has a number of markets that are worth a visit. Which brings us to our number 4. 
Nashmark is a large outdoor market that sells a wide range of products, including fresh produce, meat and spices. While the Nashmark is a fantastic market and definitely worth a visit, it has become quite a touristy hotspot in recent years, which is reflected in some of the prices. However, there are other markets that offer a more local and less touristy experience. For example, the Bonenmarkt, which is the longest street market in Vienna, offers a wide range of products and some great street food options. The Kamalita Mark, for example, is also a great market option that takes place on weekends. After exploring Vienna's markets and experiencing the daily life of the Viennese residents, another fantastic way to immerse yourself in the city's culture is by attending its free street festivals. Which brings us to our number 5. Vienna's street festivals offer a unique opportunity to experience the city's vibrant atmosphere and celebrate different aspects of Viennese culture. One of the most popular festivals is the Donauinselfest an annual event that takes place on the Danube island, normally on the last weekend in June. Google for Donauinselfest and the year to get the most accurate dates. This festival is one of the largest open-air music festivals in Europe and features a variety of live music performances, food and drink vendors and other activities for every age group. With over 3 million visitors each year, the Donauinselfest is a true testament to Viennese love for music and community events. And yes, it is free entry. Another popular festival in Vienna is the Vienna Film Festival, which takes place in the summer months of July and August in front of the Vienna City Hall. The food stalls at the festivals offer a variety of local and international cuisine, ranging from traditional Austrian dishes such as schnitzel and sausages to exotic foods from all over the world. And during the winter months, visitors can enjoy the Wiener Weihnachtstraum, a Christmas market that features beautiful light displays, ice skating, but also traditional Austrian food and drinks. No matter what time of the year you visit Vienna, there always might be a street festival to enjoy. To be informed about the upcoming events, check out the official tourism website of Vienna, to which you will find the link in the description below. In conclusion, Vienna can be a wonderful destination for travelers on a budget. From visiting free museums to exploring the city's beautiful parks and neighborhoods, there is something for everyone in this vibrant city to do without having to spend a lot of money. Make sure to check out the official tourism website of Vienna to stay informed about upcoming events and activities. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel. If you enjoyed this video, hit the like button. Let us know in the comments below if you are interested in a part 2 of free things to do in Vienna. See you guys in the next one. Bye.